Tricks Day Early. Today we're going to make um, some, decorate some discs and make a garland with our St. Patrick Day minis. And I have some that I've already used from Christmas and actually there's one from 4th of July. So we're going to clean these off and use our scraper. And it comes off very easily. I've punched a hole in these with our hole puncher or something that's called a crop o dial. It's made to put a hole in um, MDF, which is what this is, but it's coated. And after I do all the scraping, we'll wipe it off with our chalkboard cleaner and a little swipe of, a paper, of the towel that I'm working on and we will be good to go. Sometimes the red does stain a little bit, but I'll place the new transfer over where the red is and no one will be able to see it. Okay, so those have come off pretty clean. And I will take my towel and give it a good wipe. So we're working with a fresh surface. Any gardeners out there? You'll plant peas on St. Patrick's Day, even if the ground is frozen. That's what we do. Okay, so we'll cut a few of these off. Now we don't cut through the back paper, we just cut the transfers. And I'll just select a few. going to use a sassy lass a four leaf clover I have charm. And for the pot, I'm going to use the green, probably should be black, but we're going to use green, dark green, light green, and orange. 
those are the colors of Ireland's flag. Okay, set that aside and let's get chalking. I'll use a multi-tool for the finer designs. And you can make this as intricate as you'd like. I'm going to use, this is one of the newer colors. This is an En Vogue color, which is called Wild Lime. And it will And use some darker green for these clovers. And I don't mind when some of one color gets into another color. I think it looks pretty that way. But I am trying to be a little bit careful. And I got a little green over here on the white side of the chalk circle. And that'll come right off when we're done. And that's one of the reasons I love chalk couture so much. It's so forgiving. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be an artist. You just have to be willing to be a little creative. Set that aside and we wash that off with soap and water. Well, not soap, just water. And we'll pull off the sassy lass. Now look how perfect that comes out. And for the four leaf clover, I'm going to do a little bit of the hot mess design where you can combine some colors. And I say this all the time, but that's also another reason that I love chalk couture because you get some dimension in your designs. You can blend the colors like you're an artiste without really being that, because I am not. I am just creative and I love pretty things. And I also love decorating for the holidays. And it makes it so easy. Look how pretty that is. Now our rainbow, which I will use um, the three colors. And because it's a little bit um, small, I'm using our multi-tool. So I can have a little bit of precision. And these squeegees are kind of small. So I should be able to stay within the lines. But if I don't, that's okay. And when in doubt, wash off your multi-tool, give it a wipe. Yeah, that's gonna work way better for me. See, I don't have like a real steady hand and I'm not really good with intricate designs, but I can still 
make something pretty. And you can customize this. Let's say I didn't want to use repeat a color. I just wanted to have the three colors on this rainbow. So maybe I don't fill in that last arch if I don't want to. Or you can use this rainbow design for something else. Now don't forget you can use all these transfers on clothing, anything that will be washed and you just have to use ink instead of paste. And then you heat set it with a, um, an easy press or an iron and it washes like a dream. So if you wanted to make a little St. Patrick's Day hat or decorate your shoes, you could even put it on something with paste and wash it out and it will come out. Some of the colors might stain, but you could always then use it um, for something else and put another chocolate door design over it and no one will be the wiser. Okay, now we're gonna work on our pot of gold. And I'm gonna use orange to stay with my three color theme. And okay, wash that off. And we'll make this the dark green pot. trouble getting that little leg okay you scrape off the excess put it back in the jar and let's peel these off for the reveal Pot of gold, our little rainbow, and we're going to close up our pastes, scraping off the excess so we don't waste any of our chocolate goodness. Okay, I have taken a piece of green ribbon, I've cut five eight inch pieces of the lighter color ribbon and I've tied them to the bigger ribbon and we have an adorable garland that we can hang on a wall, hang on the front door, hang it um, anywhere you'd like. So I am going to hang it over in my walkway and I will show you a picture of it when this is over. Thank you very much. Happy St. Patrick's Day and happy pea planting. Bye.